Tony Watson here with Robert Hall & Associates. Today's segment we're going to be talking about the differences between purchasing and leasing a vehicle as a self-employed individual. Remember that if you're an employee of a business, your car more likely than not is, is not going to be a tax write-off for you. But if you are a self-employed individual and operate your own business, you can either choose to purchase or lease a vehicle and a portion of those expenses may be tax deductible, if not 100% tax deductible. If you only have one vehicle and you use that for personal and business use, then a portion of your vehicle will be deductible for business. But remember that if you also use it for personal, you need to make sure that you separate a correct percentage or a correct allocation between how much personal time is involved with that vehicle versus how much business time is used uh, with that vehicle. If you own a corporation and you purchase a car or lease a car under the corporation's name and EIN number, then more likely than not 100% of that car will be tax deductible. But once again, if it's your only vehicle, the federal government will expect you to separate out what is personal time versus business time. Now, leasing versus purchasing will give you two completely different write-offs. Leasing is a more consistent write-off, but it is also a smaller write-off. Remember, if you're paying $5,000 a year to lease your vehicle, and let's say that it's a corporation lease, that $5,000 is going to be a pretty consistent deduction on a year-to-year -year basis. Every two years, you'll get a new vehicle. But at that point, if you're leasing the vehicle, you might not be able to put over 12,000 miles on it, normally over 12,000 miles, without being penalized for an overage in mileage. If you purchase the vehicle, in the first year, the federal government gives you an accelerated depreciation write-off if the car is under 6,000 pounds of up to about $11,460. If the truck or car is over 6,000 pounds, then you get up to a $22,000 deduction. And that is these, these limitations, the $11,000 amount and the $22,000 amount, will change on a year-to-year -year basis. So you always have to update yourself with what the deduction is for that particular year. But as it stands in 2016, you could receive up to a $22,000 write-off in the first year if you purchase a car that's over 6,000 pounds. So make sure that you sit down with your tax advisor and discuss the options that you have, number one. Number two, what the tax benefit is going to be for you in your particular scenario if you lease versus purchase before the end of the year. If you have particular questions about this, pick up the phone, give your tax advisor a call, or talk to someone here at Robert Hall & Associates. And thanks for stopping by. Thank <laughs> you.